What's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about Cinemorph X. This has been newly re-released for Contact Full, meaning that the whole price, even full price, is going to come down quite a bit. And right now, it's only ninety dollars. Now. This instrument is huge. It's actually my favorite sample logic instrument and the one that I've had for the longest. It's a bit similar to Morphostra 2, something like that. Uh, but the content here is expanded. It's really good for hybrid synthesized process sounds. Um, you get loops, atmospheres, as well as you know percussion hits. And th I mean, there's a ton to go over here. So real quick demo of the sounds we're going to use some loops we're going to use some impacts we're going to use some plucks and playable instruments we're going to use some atmospheres here um, and this is what we can do with it uh, very quickly and then we'll go through and explore some of the sounds <laughs> All right, so you know you get a little bit of a taste there. I really like the kind of action-packed nature of it. It's very hybrid. The loops are great for those you know pulsing, driving rhythms, but you also have a lot of percussive elements. So let's look at the interface real quick. So you can see we have there's a lot going on here. There's even you know the walkthrough videos. Um, there's one on Ask Audio that can get very very in depth, and it's actually hours long just to understand this whole instrument. So. I'll try to go through it uh, briefly and more simply. So, of course, you see here, um, if you're familiar with any of the sample logic instruments of the past, um, they don't do this as much anymore, but it's the four core engine, meaning you can load up presets here into each of these cores, and then we have a little motion going on here. Not all the time, sometimes you can just leave it center in, in an even blend of everything, but also there is um, and if you enable the motion when you play it it'll it'll morph between those it's where the morph comes from so we go in here we can select presets or you can just go in and select a whole preset for all four cores meaning they'll all change so you go in here single core and these will be you know just one sound and you can have uh, bizarre dark mysterious electronic effectual mixed emotion stingers world organic I was impressed with the amount of kind of world ethnic sounding uh, sounds of this as well as the synthesized sound so you get a mix of you know realistic acoustic instruments processed and combined with the uh, synthesized elements so as you can see, atmospheres, instrumentals, these are going to be arpeggios, pads, synths, um, synths that you can play like that pluck I used in um, the song. So, you know, you can use those for the melody. You can have a, an atmosphere or a pad uh, droning out and kind of evolving throughout the song. And then I really like the loops, as you could hear. Um, I use quite a few of them, as well as a percussive loop, which sounds like this. So, for instance, this loop is a single core preset, meaning that we don't have that, you know, that quad core engine where it was morphing between all of them. So this is just going to be one core, but each core is made up of two sound sources. So when you wrap your head around that, with the multi-core presets, there are actually eight different sound sources because four cores and each core is made up of two layers. So 
it can get quite complex, um, not to mention all the effects that you can add and everything. So to keep it simple, this is just a single core preset made up of these two sounds. Um, and I think it sounds great. You know, it's a nice gritty hybrid type sound. Um, the amount of presets is very staggering, so I obviously will not be able to go through them all, but we'll just play some of the ones I used and um, we'll check them out. You can see the motion going on as I play that preset. I'm going to turn that off and we'll hear what each of the four chords sounds like. Now you can also record your own motion. You can, you know, just have it on, on one sound basically, and then you can record by hitting the record button and dragging this across. And you can make your own kind of blend and morphing going on there. But for demonstration purposes, let's see what each of these chords sounds like on their own. So here's where it goes to where I said like the acoustic instruments and this is an ethnic vibe. You can hear that flute there. It's a very realistic, natural sounding uh, sound source of the flute, but it's been processed and made it a bit more unique and kind of hybrid sounding. So that's some really cool stuff. I like that a lot. Um, let's go on to the next pad or excuse me a next loop I use down here which is another single core this one's called armed task force it's a bit more action-packed You can hear the sound now change drastically because I loaded up a second sound source there, which has a bit more of a melody going on. Um, but again, like the amount of, you know, combinations are, I think it's, you know, pretty much almost limitless an infinite, um, the little micro combinations you can do with the effects and the sound sources. So there you get an idea for the different combinations you can do. I'm just going to kind of reset that so it's back to what I initially started with. Now this one is the percussive loop, which again I really like. It's fairly gritty. Um, I used the loops action packed. Uh, but again, you know, you can get like electronic or more melodic or pop type sounds as well as a whole uh, category just for world organic. So let's check out some of these.
So again, you see how just changing one of those layers really alters the sound a lot. This one is one of the impacts. So there are percussive impacts like huge hits and bangs and whooshes and stuff. But this is more of a tonal sound, which I really like. So I use that to great effect in the actual song. So let's go to the pluck. This is the melodic instrument that I used. Again, a lots of nice delay on it. Sounds great. So really cool stuff there. And then finally, the atmospheres. Um, I like this one a lot too. It's a long evolving sound. It's kind of creepy. So there's so much to cover with this one. So this is just, you know, touching very lightly on all that has to offer. But it is a huge instrument. It really is can be kind of like a one stop shop for hybrid synthesized sounds with using, you know, sample based recordings with some of those ethnic instruments. And, you know, you get flutes and guitars and stuff like that. But it's really warped to really fit that hybrid action cyberpunk kind of electronic uh you know really popular sound these days i really love this instrument it really is my favorite from all of the sample logic instruments and i've owned it for quite a long time even with the before this version came out so i have the contact player version but now it is only 90 dollars for the full contact retail version uh, really great instrument. Definitely worth checking out. So this has been a quick look at that. So thank you guys for checking this out with me. Uh, go check it out. Watch the other demos and you know walkthroughs and stuff because there's so much to cover with it. It's hard to really do it all in this short amount of time. But that's how you can make a track with it and get a nice electronic hybrid type sound. And I will see you guys next time. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.